off as always I'm going in with a primer today I'm using the Urban Decay primer potion now in hindsight I'd actually have used a tinted base as well even just the base actually um, because the pink tones in the palette do stain the lids so bear that in mind so I'm busting out the Riviera palette from ABH again if you haven't seen my previous tutorial I'll link it below first shadow I'm taking is called coastline which is a nice warm peachy pink shade I'm starting out by tapping a little of this down on the outer third of my eye and then I'm using circular motions and sweeping motions to buff it up into the crease of the eye. Now initially I'm just focusing this on the outer portion of the eye and then bringing it across the crease. I'm really focusing on rounding out the eye today. Next then I'm taking the shade Monte Carlo and this is a really nice warm pink shade that's matte as well and I'm adding it into the crease too just not blending it up as high as the previous shade. Now these two shadows in their own look really nice I think for summertime. If you want to just a little pop of colour to your makeup look without it being too intense. Then I'm going back in with a very small amount of that coastline shade and I'm running it around the edges of the look just to make sure that it fades in nicely with the pink first of all and secondly so that you still get a bit of that peachy hue. Next then I'm taking Palm which is a deep warm brown shade and I'm using this to add some depth and as you can see I'm tapping the shadow down at an angle and once I've laid down the colour I'm using circular motions to blend it out. Not been too particular at this point because I'll be adding the brown in a couple of stages. So now I'm cleaning up the lid area and to do that and to cut the crease I'm taking one of my favourite concealers, the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Um, I just love the applicator on this because it makes applying the product very easy to do. Going back in with a bit more of that palm shade, I'm very lightly buffing it in towards the concealer and I'm doing this because I don't want a harsh divide between the two. Switching to a smaller more detailed brush now, I'm picking up a little more of that brown again and I'm taking it across into the crease. I've switched now to a slightly larger bullet shaped brush and once I've built up that brown I'm using this brush to kind of lightly blend it out. Once I've faded as much as I can with that small bullet shaped brush, I'm finishing things off with my fluffy blending brush. After blending that brown, then I'm going in with some more of the pink eyeshadow and applying this on the edge, again just to make sure that it can still be seen. Next then I'm taking the eyeshadow Sails, which is a matte white, and I'm adding this just on the kind of third of the lid. Um, I'm bringing it over further than I want to because I'm going to overlap my shadows and that'll just help with the blending process. So now then I'm adding coastline next to it as you can see just tapping down a small amount of this eyeshadow. Next then I'm taking Yacht which is a nice golden bronze kind of shade and as you can see I'm just adding a buttload of eyeshadows to achieve this look. I'm working my way across the lid. I'm taking Bahamas now and patting this down next to it again. They're literally just lined up in a row. Um, now this particular shade stains so kind of air caution with that. Um, then I'm taking the No Cosmetics Precision Eyeliner and I'm lining the eyes with this. I'm not adding a wing, um, I want to keep this look nice and round because it's been a while. So I'm taking then the Essence Liquid Ink Liquid Eyeliner and I'm using that to fill in the outline. No surprise there, it is my favourite eyeliner of all time after all. I didn't want that liner to kind of just randomly end on the outer edge of my eyes so I'm taking Makeup Geek's Corrupt Eyeshadow. I'm very carefully patting this down where the liner ends. I'm building this up very very gradually because I want this look to be about colour. I don't want the black to overpower the look or take away from it in any shape or form. So as you can see now I'm very gradually making my way across the crease with this shade too. Just adding a further bit of depth to that crease area. Moving down to the lower lash line now, I'm beginning by using that dark brown palm shade. I'm smoking this down along the lash line. I'm starting with a small amount and building up the colour. I'm stopping where my lashes end. Um, as I get into the inner corner of the eye, I'm leaving that tear duct area bare because now, as you can see, I'm adding some more of that white shade down along there. Then I'm taking that neon pink shade Bahamas and I'm using a small brush to smoke this eyeshadow underneath that brown and I really just love the effect that this gives. But once I've nicely blended out that pink eyeshadow I'm moving on then to the waterline and to line that I'm taking the Note Cosmetics Intense Look Eye Pencil. 
to further intensify that and to set the pencil in place i'm patting some of that black eyeshadow again just over the top of the pencil and the waterline and i'm also adding it under the lash line as well next then i'm adding some eyelashes and these are the so so lashes in the style desire now everybody always asks me about lashes and it's something that you just have to be patient with sometimes it doesn't work first time as you can see here with me now but just take your time with it, allow your glue to get tacky and then stick down your corners. To blend my own lashes then in with the false ones, I'm taking my favourite mascara. This is the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Um, love the effect it gives and it doesn't smudge under my eyes. So I'm just using that to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, let me know and I'll catch you all soon.